welcome back to my channel. It's a girl city. Today's video, as you may have seen on the title, is going to be another Shopee haul or Shopee try on haul. Today we are just gonna be tackling shoes, particularly chunky sneakers. As you know, in 2019, chunky sneakers kind of blew up. It started with Skechers, then the Freela Disruptor happened, and everybody seemed to be wearing chunky sneakers until Balenciaga also picked up on the trend and created their own version of chunky or dad sneakers. For someone who is not really into sneakers, I do not want to spend so much money right away for me to try the trend. So I know na ganun din ang karamihan sa inyo. So being the Shopee ho that I am, I made sure to go through Shopee and browse through the selections of chunky or dad sneakers. I found three options at different price points and tried them on for you guys to see if they are worth it. Being trendy doesn't have to be expensive and that's what we are trying to prove today. So if you guys are interested to see what items I'll be showing, then just keep on watching. Alrighty, let's begin with the cheapest item that I found under this category. And I bought this for 299 pesos. And that's only for the item guys, ha? Hindi kasama dito yung shipping fee. Just so you know, it looks like this. Here you go. It's a white sneaker with black trimming or black details. Dito sa sides and also dito sa part na to. Dito sa tongue niya, may nakalagay na um, fashion, sport, made in China. But since I got it in black, it doesn't really show yung parang um, tag niya or logo niya. So, I don't really mind it. Natatakpan rin siya nung sintas, kaya hindi siya masyado nakikita. The sole is already dirty. I've used this particular pair once, and I already know how I feel about this. I like that the sole has some kind of height. Napapatangkad niya ako ng konti. If hindi mo makikita na meron siyang logo dito na fashion, sports, whatever, it doesn't really show na 299 pesos lang siya. Kasi maganda siya in person, I would say. During that one time that I used this particular pair, I would say that I really enjoyed wearing it. It's really comfortable. I made sure to wear it for as long as I can so I can really test it out. Hindi rin siya mainit because of this mesh detail here. I don't know if you will be able to see. Because of that part, Malamig siya sa paa kasi pumapasok yung air. I also noticed the slope inside is okay. Hindi siya ganun like a perfect sa paa pero hindi rin siya masakit. So, sakto lang yung slope niya inside. I'm not sure what's gonna happen once I try to wash it kasi baka humawa yung black all over the shoes. But, um, just be very careful if you will attempt to wash this on your own. By the way, the shoes came inside this box. Ayan siya. Also, one thing that I forgot to mention, nung dumating yung mga shoes na to, the laces came in undone. So, kayo talaga yung magsisintas kapag na-receive nyo na siya. So, I think that's a sign that it hasn't been worn yet. Here is the next pair of shoes. And I got this for 369 pesos. This particular one, I got from Lazada. But they also have it in Shopee. That's just so happened na when I was trying to check out, nakasold out pala to sa Shopee. So, I checked the brand in Lazada and they also have it. Kaya doon na lang muna ako bumili. But it still passes as a Shopee shoe kasi it's also available there. Anyway, it looks like this. And when I saw this, I'm instantly reminded of the Balenciaga sneakers for some reason. This detail right here, I really love because it seems really edgy, really chunky. It's really cool to wear. My sister spilled some paint, so don't mind this yellow thing. I'm not sure how it's coming off sa camera. It's showing us more of a white. Pero itong creams dito sa side is gray. It also has that mesh detail ng first shoes. Pero sparingly lang sa mga sides. Yung body niya is more of this parang fall leather, uh, fall matte leather thing. It might look really heavy, but it's not actually that heavy when you wear it. For me, it's different because I wouldn't really pick something na ganito yung itsura because it's too street style for my liking. But 
when I tried it, I actually really enjoyed wearing it. It's like a statement piece on its own. You could be wearing like sweatpants and a t-shirt and you put this on and okay na. Parang pack na yung outfit mo. The only downside for me is that maraming loose threads tong shoes na to kaysa dun sa dalawang pair na binili ko. Maybe because marami siyang detail or mas marami cuts, ganyan. So you can just take a scissor and just cut those um, mga loose threads or mga excess threads dun sa mga area na meron. Another thing pala that you have to take note of, medyo masikip to ng konti even though I got it in the same size as the other two. I would suggest that you get one size up kung malaki talaga yung paa ninyo. Also, notice na yung slope nitong shoes na to inside. Hindi siya ganun ka form-fitting sa paa. So, medyo uncomfortable. But, I like the fact na dito sa area na to, around the parang ankles, very cushiony siya as compared to the other two. So, pwede ako magsuot ng manipis na socks and I wouldn't get blisters after. That's it for this shoe. Now, on to the last pair and also the most expensive out of the three. This is the pair that I have worn the most and it looks like this. I would say I've used this at least four or five times na. This is also the first pair that I got, kaya mas nagamit ko siya ng uh, mas matagal kaysa dun sa dalawa. This has to be my favorite just because I get to wear it with most of my outfits. And also, it reminds me of the Air Force Ones na triple white. White lang siya and it's fall leather. It has this detailing sa harap. Dito, sa part na to, it says fashion. Also, dito sa sole, may nakalagay na fashion. And I know hindi nyo na siya makita kasi super dumi na. Hindi pa siya napapaliguan talaga or nahuhugasan ng Toro. I just tried to wipe yung sides niya and had my sister brush yung dito sa may sole. And it looks okay naman. The only thing that you have to take note of is medyo mataas yung part na to. Itong side na to. The first few times na ginamit ko siya, sumakit talaga or nag-blister talaga ako. So I would highly suggest that you wear thick socks with this one. With this particular pair, I wear it with my um, World Balance na white socks. So, dapat talaga makapal yung medyos na gagamitin mo dito. Dapat mas mataas din siya sa part na to para hindi niya narub yung skin mo and hindi ka masugatan. Another downside pala, I'm not sure if it's because my feet are kinda tiny, pero itong taong niya, lagi siyang gumaganon sa sides. But other than that, I really really like this. For 399 pesos, it's not even 500 pesos. Super okay na niya if you're just gonna be wearing it for forma, ganyan. And I'll be linking all the products that I've just showed you down below. This is not sponsored by any means. I was just trying to find really cool alternative for the chunky sneaker trend na pwede yung bilhin or pwede yung try without really breaking the bank. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it has been helpful. And I hope you guys found some really nice pieces that you also want to try. Like this video if you really enjoyed this. And if you feel that I should continue. Maybe next time I need to try bags naman. And look for really nice baguette bags. Kasi they are really trendy these days. So just let me know by hitting the like button. Also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on the next one. May you all have clear skin and happy hearts. Bye! One, two, three! Fuck it!